What's up everyone, my name is Jesse. This is the auditorium. I react to video game music as a musician myself. Today is Final Fantasy 4 or 2. And the song is called Theme of Love, requested by Azarius. They actually requested the Distant Worlds version, which I'll be checking out second. No one requested this original version, so I'm just choosing to go uh, upon myself to hear the original. So, not a lot of... Uh, SNES era Nabuo that I know, so let's get into it. Theme of Love, original. Sounds so familiar. Sounds like a song I know from Carlos Santana. Ooh, that's nice. I feel like I've heard of this. Is that the prelude right here? I think it was. I think it is. Oh man. I mean that's gorgeous, but I feel like I've heard it. Very emotional. Like the chords on the right side. Oh, that is so short. Okay, hmm. Let's, let's listen to the uh, Distant Worlds version, which is the one that was actually requested. I feel like this is going to do very well. Oh, okay. I think I just answered my own question. Uh, okay, we'll get we'll, we'll get into that later. All right, theme of love, Final Fantasy IV, Distant Worlds. Man, that's like almost made for this style of music. It's like I feel whenever they had the idea for Distant Worlds and they were coming up with a set list, I feel like this was like an obvious choice that was picked right away. Yeah, that's actually really, really gorgeous. Yeah, 
that is a melody that you will keep with you forever. Feels very uh, iconic. Feels like a wedding or something. I can almost guarantee people have gotten married to this. Especially with a name like that. Pretty faithful to the original. I don't know why, but this reminded me of the uh, the waltz scene from FF8. Where he meets Renoa. God, listen to me. A year ago, I would have never said anything like that. Now I'm making references within the series. Sounds like an influence. We'll see. Flute? Clap, clap. All right, I have a handful of things to say here. First of all, let me just go off that last thought I had about it sounding like something. I think I've said this before. I'm pretty sure I can't remember everything I've ever said, but it seems like something I would have said. <laughs> and um, based on Nobuo's age, it's very possible that uh, he grew up also listening to my favorite composer, which is Ennio Marconi. Um, because even though um, Ennio Morricone is known for mostly like weird twangy whistly stuff from westerns, he's very also well known for like the orchestral really nice stuff like this that has very similar melodies. So I'm actually curious if Nabuha has ever mentioned um, Ennio's name or been an inspiration. Well, I mean, millions of people have been inspired by Ennio Morricone, but I'm just curious about that because it sounds like something that would go into one of his movies. So, I'm mostly going to talk about the first one. The second one was really beautiful, and it totally fit the whole Distant Worlds thing. Obviously, Distant Worlds is like the live world tour of Final Fantasy music, and uh, I've even attended one. Which brings me to my first point. As soon as I heard this song, right, right off the bat, I was like, this sounds super familiar. But I'm going to dive a little deeper than, uh, into that. But the first thing... I was like, oh, wait a minute. I attended Distant Worlds. When I attended Distant Worlds, uh, I've only gone once. That was 
uh, not too, that was half a year ago, my first time, and obviously I don't know <laughs> nearly all the songs. I knew mostly the FF7 stuff, and just a couple here and there. Basically the ones I've heard on the channel that I recognized. I don't know what the set list was. So I thought to myself, there's a chance that I heard it there, maybe? But the also other thing that I was going to go off of is that it sounds so familiar because I think it's just one of those melodies that it's like so strong and memorable that I feel like the first time you hear it could be like the first, like you've heard it before. It's just one of those. I can't explain it. It's just kind of this own like phenomenon, but maybe I've heard it at Distant Worlds. Maybe I've heard it in here or there, but I also feel like I've heard it in other media. Like, maybe this has been covered or sampled in, uh, like, you know, some kind of, like, hip-hop song or something. I feel like that melody is just very, very iconic because it's so simple. The most iconic songs in the world are just a couple simple note melodies. And, you know, this is one of them. I also heard the prelude, I think, in the, in the first one. Had a little bit of, like, this kind of harp run of, like, I, I'm pretty sure it was a prelude, but it sounded very similar to it. Obviously, the song is going to have to do with love, relationships, something like that. It's called Theme of Love. It sounds extremely emotional and not the good kind, you know, not the like resolving, happy ending type of love, but the more like loss type or long lost love or very emotional type of, you know, deep, deep love that is you know, brings you to tears type of thing. But it could be happy too, but it's, I don't really get that. It's just more of a, like, deep sigh and think about it type of love song. So I'm not even going to get into the whole FF2 and FF4 thing. I've had thousands of people at this point explain it to me, and I still don't understand it because it doesn't matter. But that's a, that's a thing for another day because I don't want the comments to just be like, well, actually, in final, it doesn't matter. For the most part, this song, from what I know, it comes from Final Fantasy Four, but also, you know, two, yeah, whatever, you guys know, the whole naming disaster. And, you know, basically, the Distant Worlds version, which I'll come back to now, like I said, it's, it's pretty faithful to the original, and I'm, I'm glad they didn't change too much. They just added this element of, you know, modern technology and a bunch of humans playing it. But they definitely put that um, sound of sadness come across very clear. It's very emotional, and you can feel that big time. Um, I'm pretty sure um, that had to have been Arnie Roth, I've, I'm assuming. At least uh, doing the... Um, oh, God. I'm drawing a blank on the name. The... Um, is it Maestro? <laughs> I'm drawing a blank. But the, uh, the conductor, I guess. I'm not sure if he's always been around, but I know he's been around for a while. So it's really cool. But I can't, you know, the whole time I was listening to that, and it's really, really beautiful, by the way. It's one of the most beautiful Final Fantasy songs I've heard, for sure. But I couldn't help this feeling of, like, I've heard this before. And I wonder where. And I feel like I've heard it a lot before. Maybe it's even used in multiple games, or if it's just stuck to this one. Either way, you know, it's, it's not often that you hear, like, really important songs in video game history. And I feel like this is one of them. I don't know what it is. But like I said, when it comes to very simple songs that get stuck in your head, those have huge lasting power to the point where they even become like iconic, legendary status. So to me, even though it's not requested, but this is the only request. I'm not going off a of request. No one really requested Theme of Love. But by the sounds of it, I have a prediction that a lot of people are going to have memories attached to this game. And it's going to be one of like those classic FF songs, if not maybe VGM songs, just on the way it sounded. So, pretty interesting that I got that from just uh, basically two minutes, because the other one was just essentially the same thing. Let me know uh, about everything I said. Let me know if, it's, if it's, is it actually in Distant Worlds. Uh, I feel like I've heard it there, but who knows, really, because I heard like 20 songs. I had no idea what they were. And uh, let me know how important this song is and what is it about. I don't think I'm ever going to play this game, so you can go ahead and tell me. And uh, it's also cool that I get to hear more SNES Nubu. It's not very often that it happens. So, cool. Thank you, uh, Azarius, for the request. Thanks to you for watching. 
Thanks to everyone that you see on the screen. My name is Jesse in the auditorium. I hope you all have a great day. Peace. Take it easy.